Welcome back to the mountains of South Carolina. We are back on another high adventure video here in 2024. Come check this out. We are all alone in this campsite. There are like four or five different parking spots here. And this time of year, when you rent this area, you actually rent this entire, like, I don't know, probably like two, three acres you see behind me. This is all ours for the next two days. There's even a lock on the gate when you come down. So we're like guaranteed no visitors unless they're from like the National Forest Park Ranger people. But I kind of doubt they'll be down here. I mean, maybe they will. But this is all us for the next two days, our own private camp. I'm pretty pumped. I'm a little nervous for the challenge that we have in store for us the next couple of days. But before we get to that, we've got our hot tent pretty much set up. Still got a little bit to do with that, but check this out. We got a little free wood. Isn't that our motto this year? I think I said that in the last video. Free wood, that's the 2024 theme. So pretty pumped about that, especially, it's like a high of like 40 right now. Now it will get a little bit warmer uh, in the coming days, but you know, it's in the mountains, it's January, it's cold. So hence the reason for the hot tent. Now, before we do anything else, to me, this fireplace or fire pit, fire area leaves a lot to be desired in my opinion. So I think what we're gonna do before we eat our final meal and everything, which obviously I gotta cook over the fire, let's get this fireplace, uh, our fire, I don't know, fire mud pit here. Let's get it cleaned up a little bit. Let's do a little something with this so it's a little bit nicer for us and our uh, adventure out here for the next couple of days. So I bought myself this little portable shovel. It's like shovel slash pit. It's actually made in America. The people who were here previously, not a lot of nice like flat stones and stuff. So I think we're gonna try to make like, make like a little fire place actually. We've got like this berm of ashes right back here, which looks like probably where the forest service people, they actually toss everything. Like just probably take a backhoe and dump it right there. So we're just dumping all this back here as well. Trying to make kind of like a little pit. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack these rocks around and make like a little chimney effect. So if it kind of keeps the heat pushing my way, we keep some of the fire from away from the tent. I want it closer to the tent just cause we are in like bear country and stuff like that. So when I'm out here in the evening cooking food and stuff, I don't want to be like really far away from the entrance of my tent. Start stacking some of these rocks, I think over here. Something in the woods over there. Might just be a deer. Sounds a little bigger than a squirrel. I don't hear any grunting, so that's good. Oh, check it out. Guys, come with me. Here's our visitor. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Oh, it was bigger than a squirrel for sure. Buddy, what are you doing? Hey, you're not a bear. Hey, what do you want? Hey, I rented this spot, man. I guess you could hang out. Dude, what are you doing? They're kind of ugly, kind of cute. I can't tell. We'll leave him to his foraging. I've got a feeling he'll probably come check out camp later tonight. I'm gonna use some of these small stones here. Just kind of fill in some of the gaps. That's a little better. Kind of what I was thinking about. I wouldn't mind if the the stones were higher, but it's already afternoon and I have to be hauling stones out of the river and I just don't really want to take the time to do that. But this looks a lot better than what we had. All right, I like that. I gotta say, this little shovel actually did a really good job. I'll have a link in the description below to this as well as like my little camp set up here, but I think that's better than what it was. Let's go ahead and get a fire going and cook our final meal before we start this challenge. That was a really failed attempt at a teepee. A little 
literally just stuck like four matches down there. See if we can get it going that way. I think we might have. Got some good dry stuff here. It hasn't rained in a good week and a half. I'll try splitting a couple of these pieces that whoever left. Looks pretty dry. I'd say so. Probably one hand it. Yeah. That's a good sign. All right. I've got some peppers and onion. And I got a big dollop of butter. Bunch of seasoning. Right in our skillet. Then we got us a nice steak. All seasoned up. We're just going to set right there. Final meal is going to be delicious, guys. There we go. Look at that. You know, normally I eat out for my final meal. But this time I just decided, you know what? Why not cook up a little fresh steak over the fire with some vegetables? Do something a little bit different for this challenge. Look at that right there. Oh, say a prayer really quickly. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this time we have in the mountains. Lord, I pray to keep me in safety while I'm up here. Keep Stephanie and the kids in safety back at home. And I just thank you for these opportunities that we have. And I pray you bless this food to my body now. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Oh, man. Oh, that's so good. Just sitting in, in all of that butter sauce at the bottom of the skillet. I don't know what it is, but food cooked over an open fire, especially when you're out camping. I swear it's just like the best tasting thing. All right, we just finished our delicious steak lunch. But here you go. Here is the challenge. I have one of these mystery tackle boxes. This is the mystery pro. There are like three levels of them. There's like the regular, then there's the pro, then there's like a master or something like that. Anyway, this is like a middle of the road one. This is supposed to be a trout and brim. I don't see it anywhere on the box. Allegedly, it's supposed to be a trout and brim one. I guess we're going to find out in just a second. I have no idea, though, what is in this box. I've seen these before. I've never purchased one. So let's open it up and see what we are allowed to use for the next 24 hours. Use our little steak knife here. Just a little tape. Did that get it? There you go. Okay, so the one lure I'm really hoping is in here, at least we have one of them, is a spinner. Because I'm familiar with using spinners. And yeah, uh, I'm, just, I'm confident in using that, and I think they'd work in this river. All right, here we go. What do we have? Oh boy. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, that's the perfect kind of spinner too right there. That, that's prompt. Oh, oh hallelujah. Oh, oh, all right, we've got, uh, oh, here we go. We've got like a little, uh, little crankbait as well. Oh, this says unfold. Oh, okay. Cool, so you've got, you've got like a, ruler on here and everything what's this v rod little like uh i don't know almost looks like a jigging like for ice fishing kind of thing doesn't that don't know if i'm a massive fan of that we got another little crankbait here actually that's not a terrible color especially for like river fishing mm, bubble shad what else we got what else anything else oh here you go Crappy scrub, little white jigs. I wonder if I got jig heads with that. What's this? We also have trout bass bluegill. <coughs> huh, I've never seen anything like that. Look at those. They're like mini, mini tubes. Release the Kraken is what it's called. That actually might work in this river. I could see a trout eating that. I could definitely see a trout eating this right here. Look at that. Little like robo tails there. It's a uh, golden, like a golden scented, S pheromone scented, two inch micro finesse. That actually doesn't look bad at all there either. Is that it? Is that everything? Anything else? Wow, I think that's it. 
I've got stuff like this, but I don't have any like terminal tackle for it. Um, you know, I guess I'd probably be allowed to use. I, I can use the terminal tackle. I, I don't. They don't have any like jig heads for anything like this. So I guess we're gonna make that ruling now that we can use terminal tackle for these a uh, couple of jigs and and this guy as well. Um, so we can use some terminal tackle for that. That's just so we can actually use them. But there you go. I think we're going to start off. I think we're going to start with the little Sussex Supreme little spinner. I, we'll just see if we can get at least a trout on a stringer with that. I have caught trout in this river before. Obviously, you know, this is just a perfect trout lure. It's like a universal trout lure. We're going to work really hard not to get that snagged because that... That might be what gets us through, but we're definitely going to try some of these other baits, too. See if we can't pop something on these. Now let's get fishing. we got a good couple hours left here. It's actually gotten cloudy. It was sunny when I first got here, but the clouds have rolled in. There might be some chances of rain as, as the day goes on and into tomorrow, so we'll have to just kind of navigate that. But we don't have a lot of time today, so let's let's stop wasting time talking about it, and let's be about it. Let the challenge begin! All right, here we go. Got our own private river access here here we go challenge underway let's just start right here nice little deep pocket the water's come up a little bit we had really heavy rains about two weeks ago there's flash flooding around here um so the water's up maybe about i don't know four or five inches which can make a big difference and you're talking about just some of these little pools and stuff like that that you're trying to fish Definitely moving a little faster than when I was here last time. The spinner ain't running right. Something wrong with it. That's not good. Sometimes I wonder if in some of these boxes you get cheap stuff. That's kind of what I feel like. That's not good. This blade's not thumping right. It's like something off with it. <sighs> Nothing at the first hole. We're slowly making our way down river. Wow, you know, the first thing I noticed here, last time I was here, there's a big tree in the water, and it's gone now. So, <laughs> water was definitely up just a little bit. Oh, there, oh, I just had one. Oh, I just had one come up and nip it. Oh, Mike, you can't miss that. You can't miss that. Just had a trout come up. I'm afraid she tasted the hooks. That's my only, my only concern. Golly. I feel like we're maybe not going to get a whole lot of opportunities, especially where normally I fish with like trout eggs and stuff like that. And, you know, it's all plastics and hard baits. And we got to make our opportunities count. We can't miss fish. I mean, there's nothing I could do about that. But, oh, shoot, I saw that fish come out of the depths and pop it. And that was a, I mean, it wasn't a pig, but it was, it was an eating size one for sure. Come on, there's gotta be a little brownie somewhere in here. Big boulders are breaking up. Oh, 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 that was a hit. Oh, dude, something just stomped it. Come on, that's two misses. I was telling y'all this spot looked too good. Dude, how you go and miss two bites like that? I got a big old daggum treble hook off the back of this thing. How am I missing that? Someone explain that nonsense to me. Oh, 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 dude, that was a bite. Another bite, dudes. No, snag. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. I will ruin this fishing spot to get this spinner back. Can't lose this guy. Dude, what am I snagged on? Come on. What is this? It's like a raft. I'm like stuck on a raft. Oh no, I'm like caught on like some mesh thing. It's like a it's like a river raft. An old river raft. Come on. <sighs> Come here, you. I refuse to lose this. Not this early in the game. Cutting three bites. <sighs> oh, oh man, my hand is numb now. Look at this thing, dude. Ugh. Got caught in the bottom mesh of this float. Ugh. 
We weren't just gonna pop that out. Ah, <sighs> oh, got it. Whew. Small personal sacrifice there. Ah, oh, okay. Well, ruin this spot. Damn it. <sighs> All right, keep moving. Oh, look at that. Somebody's net got washed down. It's all busted up. Not ours. I don't bring a net. <laughs> uh. Oh, come on. I'm desperate. Sun's gonna set here for in about 40 minutes. I'm not gonna go much further than the bend right up here. Oh, oh, shnikes. Dagnabbit. Missed another one. Gosh, they're just not, they're not taking it, dudes. That's like the fourth bite I've had. Ugh. All we can do is just keep throwing. Oh, there's one, there's one. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Oh, this is dinner. Where am I gonna bring him up? I think it's a bow. Nice bow. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. That hurts, that hurts. And there's nothing we can do except keep casting. Light's fading fast. I don't have a whole lot of time left. That is just an absolute kick to the groin. I just had a swipe. Just had one swipe at it. Come on. I saw this. I saw the flash of the fish. It's kind of cool. That's why I got to cast so far down because. Oh, there. Oh my gosh, dude. Are you serious? What in the name of sweet Neptune? I, I, how, how? There's another flash. Okay, okay, come on. Oh my gosh, he just swirled at it again. Dude, that seemed like a solid fish too. What in the name of Sam Hill? He hasn't tasted the hooks. There he is, there he is, there he is. Yep, 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 yep. Good fish, good fish, good trout. Right over here, right over here, right over here. Oh yeah, 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 brown, 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 brown. Yes, 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 let's go. Yes, had a baby. That's a 12 inch brown. Oh, we having fish tonight. Look at that. We gotta kill him, grab a stone, grab a stone, put him out. Those browns are a little more active this time of year. And that's exactly what we got. He swirled at that thing like four or five different times. What we're gonna do, I need a, that's too big. You make me a little stringer here. That works, that works. Oh baby, let's go. <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful brown trout. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, there's good meat. Good, good meat on that. I'm gonna leave them right there. Now, I made quite the fracas McRuckus catching that fish, unfortunately. But at this point, I don't care. I wanna see if we can cast in and see if anybody else is down there. There's another one. I just had another one. Follow it up. Right, we're gonna back up. We're gonna back up. Come on. There he is. There he is. Another one. Another one. Yes. Come on. Not as much pressure now that I have something on the stringer. Not as big, but that's more meat. Let's go. Another brown. Probably about 10 inches. <laughs> you get five fish a day in South Carolina in this stretch. And that's not a whole lot, but it's enough. It's enough. We're going to kill them really quickly here. Yes. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Oh, baby. Check this out. We switched to this grub. I really don't have like the right stuff for it. Uh, as far as like a little jig head, I've just got like a couple split shots and then a J hook on there. You know, I've got a buddy Tyler and he loves white tube jigs. When he ice fishes, that man swears by him. So Tyler, this is for you. It's not a tube jig, but it is a white little jig grub that I'm just bouncing on the bottom. There's one. Dude, on the little, on the little grub. 
I don't know. If, can we eat that? I don't know, man. That's tiny. I don't think I could justify that. I, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. We've got two on the stringer. If I, if I didn't have any, I might, uh, I might consider it. A little white grub got it done. <sighs> All right, guys. There you have it. Oh man, that first fish. That is a real solid trout. Real solid trout right out of this bend here. We ended up what getting three, three out of this nice deep cut. I think that's something that we need to focus on tomorrow. Maybe deeper water, a little bit slower right through here. Uh, that little white, that white little grub too, that was getting some hits. We might focus on that more tomorrow. Maybe some of the soft plastics, but we got some dinner. That is awesome. So far, not a bad start after a real rough start to this challenge. It's getting pretty dark now though. The sun's probably gonna set in the next probably 15 minutes. It's cloudy. So that means it's gonna get dark fast. So man, I sure am glad that box had that spinner in it. Woo! That saved our bacon so far. Put bacon on the table. Oh, hey, there we go. Come on, baby. Get this fire cranked back up. Get warm again. All right, so we went ahead and coated our trout in blackened seasoning and some salt, parsley. Got some butter in there. We're just gonna fold that up in the foil. And lay it right in the fire. Let that cook in the foil. There we go. Set it on a grate. Just gonna swing that right over by the fire, actually. There we go. Get them snuggled up close by it. I'm just gonna let that cook. Uh, while we're waiting for our fish to cook, I'm gonna come in here, prep our hot stove. That way, when it's time to come in, we don't have to do all this work later. Not doing anything else right now. I like to hang out by the big fire outside as long as I can, just because it's a little easier to maintain. And then this wood, I have to chop and just kind of do a lot more work to keep the tent warm than just hang out by the fire and throw logs on it. I gotta split all this stuff down so it fits in here and I gotta make it last through the night. So I'd rather kind of conserve the wood that I brought for this and just hang out out by the big fire till it's just too cold. All right, I think this is about done. Let's set them on that. <clears throat> Take a closer look. Oh yeah. When it's starting to flake off and like break off like that from the main body, you know that's well cooked. Look at that. Oh. Mm. So many misses early on. That was just tough. Tough to kind of mentally keep battling through. If I'm not mistaken, there are a lot of good vitamins in the skin of fish. Hmm. Already down to 36 degrees. That fire feels amazing right now. It's supposed to get down to about 30, so definitely slept in colder weather. But up here in the mountains too, there's just that mountain air chill too that adds a little extra chilliness on top of the already cold. We're definitely gonna wanna keep the fire burning high and hot tonight. Mm. This trout's amazing. Well, we finished our trout absolutely delicious now just trying to dry out my waders a little bit next to the fire that way they're not all damp in the morning after 30 degrees we'll keep them in the tent but this fire is so hot right now i figure hey trying to hang out for a little bit out here before we have to go into the tent may as well try to dry these bad boys out while we're at it they're steaming actually <laughs> it's a good fire Oh, 
All right, guys. I think it's time to start moving the party in here before we start partying. Whew. I have a fire going. Oh, shoot. Wrong way. I didn't realize how cold it was getting until I left the fire out there and started moving everything in here. I like to really pack the stove up with wood and kindling and stuff because unlike a fire out there, you can't, you know, it's just a lot more work to feed it. And when I start to feed it here in a minute, it's going to be with bigger wood. I can't like gradually get bigger and bigger uh, because I have to keep opening up, you know, this and it's letting smoke out and all that kind of stuff. So to kind of avoid the tending of it until it reaches a good size, I try to just stuff as much little stuff than medium stuff in there, like almost to bursting. Then I get a good fire going. Then I can start to automatically add bigger stuff like this and it'll burn because it's hot enough in there. It's looking really good right now. A couple more pieces in. We'll go ahead and close this up. All right, there we go. Nice and warm. The awesome thing about this little stove is not only does this give off, obviously, a lot of heat. This is where the main heat comes. But this whole stove pipe, in fact, I don't know if you guys see. Oh, you can see that. Well, it's getting, like, red hot. So this whole thing gives off heat. And it's actually warming up pretty quickly in here, which is really nice. I want to show you guys something that I got from one of my subscribers. Check it out. I have these quilts. Look at that. It's even got my name on it. But it's got all these like fishing patterns in it. I also have another one over here. This is a bee one. It's got like little bees on it. Other side, got a different pattern, beehives, honeycomb. I mean, really cool. I had a lady, Miss Virginia in Oklahoma. She made these, and in fact, she made some for my kids as well. Uh, but she made them and sent them to me here actually a couple months ago and I just haven't gotten around to using them but this is the perfect time to bring these out with me. I'm definitely going to be throwing these over the top of my sleeping bag tonight. Miss Virginia, thank you again. I appreciate it. That is an awesome gift. I know you put a lot of time and effort into that making those. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to warm up a little bit of water. Set that right on top of our stove. So sometimes in these challenges, I'm pretty strict with like what I can and can't eat and stuff like that. But today for this time, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and make a little hot tea over the stovetop. So I figured that's the least we could do for having to use that dang mystery tackle box and only that for our bait. The other thing that I kind of suspected and then found out when... Uh, we open that mystery tackle boxes. The lures that we're using are super cheap. So I tried throwing uh, one of the crankbaits and it is like so off track. Like it's constantly like going in a loop or like going to the side or coming up to the surface. I mean, the box definitely wasn't filled with like, you know, Rapala or Berkeley. You know, they're all like the baits that, you know, you, you're not going to get at any of the big stores. These are baits that you, you know, would probably have to you know, get on Team U to find or whatever. <laughs> so, but hey, we fooled two trout today. That's all I needed to do. I just need to fool a few more tomorrow. I think that maybe that little white grub will be the be the ticket tomorrow. I guess we'll find out. Who's down for a little Earl Grey black tea decaf? That way we're not up all night. I feel kind of like an old person now, sitting here dunking my tea bag, kicking the shoes off. Oh. oh, yeah, that tastes really good. Oh. Oh. Well, y'all, just threw a couple extra pieces on the on the fire. Should be good for the next hour and a half, two hours or so. Try to sleep as warm as we can tonight. Then wake up first thing in the morning. Try to keep getting after those trout with our, with our bait. So I'll catch you guys in the morning.
Well, we got our drizzle of rain coming down now. I'm just moving all this wood under our little kitchen setup, trying to keep it dry. It's not supposed to last all day, but you know, it is South Carolina. This weather is bipolar, so. Oh, I thought I smelled coffee. Looks like that has brewed up. Let's see what it looks like here. Actually, I need a teacup from last night. Ooh, that is black as night. Oh my lordy. We're not gonna sleep for the next several days. Let's put our trout over that fire. No, I don't need this brewing anymore. Set him right there. Take this outside. Holy cow. All right, there you go. We'll have some crispy skin on this guy. Peeling that right off of the bone. Mm. A little fresh trout and coffee first thing in the morning. It's a combo unlike any other. Once you eat one side, you can pull that whole skeleton out. And then you're just left with that right there. Just one big side of meat. The rain's still coming down. It's just a drizzle. Fortunately, my hot tent, though, is waterproof. So, everything will stay warm and dry in there. Ooh, all right. We have fresh cup of coffee. Mm. We are gonna go ahead and head to another stretch of river. First, we're gonna get some heat going. I'm gonna warm my buns with a toasted seat here oh that's better all right see you guys there let's go all right here you go wow this water is up quite a bit from the last time I was here guys this is one of those places that you got to be real quiet you got to take it nice and easy because this water is just so clear you could spook these fish super easily here we go this looks pretty good We've got the little white grub back on. Let's try this up here. I don't see anything right now, but doesn't mean they're not down there. Got one, got one on the white grub, on the white grub. Come on, baby, right up here. Yes, look at that. Oh, he just fell off, he just fell off. That a baby. Tyler, that one's for you. The white grub. Got a nice fat little trout. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Look at that right there. Dude just ate that white grub. Beautiful rainbow trout. Little stalker, but that's okay. We got him to eat the grub. We're gonna put him on a stringer. There we go. Oh, that's a nice 12 inch, super chunky. I mean, that's a, that's a girthy trout. Oh boy. Dude's first cast. First cast. Let's get it back down there. We gobbled that right up. Got this nice big break in the water. Deep pool right up in those headwaters. It's just one of those spots you know there are fish down there. Like there's just gotta be. That was exactly like what I was saying earlier. I can't see any fish down there. But it's just too good a looking spot. I feel like to not have fish and sure enough there's at least one down there fooled one <sighs> I'm not gonna lie this stretch looks terrible got him got him he just ate it not very big but on that white grub again right up here yes let's go another one Oh man, actually that's not a bad, that's not a bad trout. That's prettier than the last one. That last one was kind of like an ugly yellow color. This guy, it's got true rainbow trout colors. Man, that, that came out of just that small riffle. I mean, I've fished a lot bigger pools than that and just had no success, y'all. It's been a long morning, long and tough. But we got us, I mean, that's probably 11 inches at best. But it doesn't matter. It's food. That little white grub did it again. Y'all, this rig is nothing crazy. I literally just have that golden J hook 
and I have a split shot at the head because that's all I have for terminal tackle. But those fish are eating it. It's got those two double paddle tails. Uh, we're just throwing that down and just basically letting it bump along the bottom. Those trout are hitting it. There he is, right there. Just saw him come up and grab it again. He followed it down from the top. That's a solid. Yes! Oh, that was a good one. Ha! Ha ha! He followed it down from the headwaters up there. And then I paused it and he came over and just dooped it up. Whoo! Oh my goodness. That's a good 12 incher. Nice and fat. We're gonna put him on the stringer. Guys, I almost didn't fish this. It just, it's so small, the water's not very deep. No real hole. And I thought, you know what, I'm walking past it. Let's just drop in. And it has produced two quality trout. Oh my word. Yeah! All right. Is that the biggest one of the day? Nah, that first one's still fatter. That one's probably just as long though. That's a good stringer. We are crushing this challenge with that little white jig. Thank the tackle box gods for that little white jig being in there. There's another fish. Oh, gosh. What in the world? Where'd it go? Oh, Woo. Sorry, a little overzealous there. This doesn't look like a lot. But neither did the last place. Got him. Another one. Right on cue. Eee! Yes! Hey! There she goes! It must be a fish. Put him in a pan, serve him in a dish! Oh! Ha! Got another one! Ha! There you go. 11 inches. All day. Maybe 10. Maybe 13. All I know is that's food and we're one away from a limit, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding me? Glad we decided to travel out, find some fish. All right, guys, we have hiked probably a good, probably a mile up and down this river. We've got four beautiful looking rainbow trout. It's after lunch, probably about 1.30 in the afternoon, maybe two. And between the hiking and just not having had a lot of food today, I am starving. So we're gonna go ahead and start making our way back to camp, try to fry up some fish. It's been a really tough go today. I've been here along this stretch when this trout are just absolutely stacked up in all these pools, but no such luck today. In fact, we've probably been fishing for a good four hours and just come up with these four fish. But we put some fish on the stringer today though. No doubt about it. I feel like we really met this challenge. Feels good. All right, back at camp. Look at that. All the rain just sloughing off. That's a good canvas right there keeping everything dry inside. Trying to get a fire going. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult just because everything's got a thin layer of dew and mist and wetness on it. Now you guys just see it's like gotten foggy out here now. I'm gonna try to find anything that might be remotely dry. This was good maybe this morning. We'll try to use it. Whew, camp's all wet. This is good stuff. We should have saved this from the wet. I don't know if this is going to work. We have to go see if I can find some paper somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we might have something. Let's get another match on it. I see a little flame sustaining down there. Sometimes you just got to warm it up just a little bit. My fire making level may have just gone up like six or seven levels in RuneScape terms. Well, she's still going. Come on, little baby. Come on, you beauty. Got some good dry stuff here. Just a matter of warming it up enough. Keep it going. Is that who I think it is? Bro, what are you doing over here, man? Definitely the same one. There's that scar on the side. I feel like we should name him. Can't you get some weird disease from armadillos? Isn't it like leprosy or something like that they still carry? It was nice to see you again. Yeah, you. All right. All right. 
We're taking a couple of our fresh specimens down to the water's edge to get them cleaned up. I want to just take the heads off and the guts out. And we're going to fry these ones up. So it's pretty simple. The guts of trout come out real easily. Actually, most all fish. Then you just got that little bloodline there. Take him down here. Oh, that water's cold. But just like that. We got a fresh piece ready to get fried up. Let's get this other guy here. It's the biggest one of the day. First one. We got a couple heads on the stick. We'll just throw that out there. Some otter or mink will probably end up finding that as it drifts down. That's dinner. Let's go bring them up to the fire and get them ready. So I've got this little like to-go box here. And we have some Louisiana Cajun fish fry and I'm just gonna dump a bunch of this into the box a little layer on the bottom like that and we're just gonna set our two trout right in there like so something like that we're gonna just pour more of this all over both I'm gonna just pop the lid on Shake it up. Shake violently. There we go. We're going to let that rest in there. And then we're going to get some oil heated up in a pan over the fire. I just do canola oil. That's like my favorite. It's almost got a nice flavor to it in my opinion. Yeah, that's bubbling. I think it's ready. There you go. Freshly breaded. That's one. And number two. There. That should taste absolutely delicious. Anything's going to taste delicious at this point. I haven't eaten since like 9 o'clock this morning. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Let's flip these guys and see how they're looking. Yeah, that's the consistency you want right there. Good shell on that from the seasoning or from the breading. Now those are going to be done in no time. That is going to taste delicious. All right we've got our water. It was supposed to be a little warmer today but I think it only got a high of like 46 which probably means it's going to be pretty cold tonight. There we go. A little bit of fried trout. Let's ask a blessing really quickly here. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these last couple of days in the mountains, Lord. We thank you for the beauty of your creation, the ears to hear and the eyes to see, to enjoy it, Lord. We just thank you for this life we live, and may you bless this food to my body now. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. One of the cool things about frying this fish is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually almost like starts to peel away naturally from the bone. First thing we're getting after, oh, I just dropped a piece. What? Don't be careless, Micah. Oh, oh, is that skin? Mm. Got a fin. Oh, that skin is so crispy. I don't even eat this with a fork. I just eat it with my hands. Got that nice, super crispy skin. Mm. Right underneath, you got the meat. All that just peeled away beautifully from the skeleton. Oh. Oh, I needed this all day, hiking up and down that river. You work up quite an appetite. Oh, smoke. Woo. Won't keep this fire burning high and hot again tonight. I feel like that maybe will be the new motto of our channel. Keep it high and hot. Maybe that's how it'll go. But y'all, it has been over 24 hours. It's been about 27 hours now. And I feel like we have vanquished this challenge. What do we put? Six trout on the stringer with our mystery tackle box lures. Thank heaven for the white grubs and the spinner that worked about 50% of the time. Otherwise, I feel like it would have been a really hungry last 24 hours. Challenge vanquished though. Thank you guys for hanging out with me the last couple of days. It's been fun here in the mountains. I'm gonna go get tucked away in the tent. Night is setting in. We're gonna keep the fire burning. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you 
in the next one.